In this lecture, I want to prove uh, an, an explicit formula for Catalan numbers. So that's lecture 1.5 and 1. an explicit 1.6, an explicit uh, formula for Catalan numbers. Okay, and um, let me formulate the theorem. So theorem we are going to prove is that Cn equals to 1 over n plus 1 to n choose n, which is 2n factorial over n factorial n plus 1 factorial. So um, this formula was found by Euler, and um, one can check it in the first few cases. So C1, for instance, equals to 1 over 2, 2 choose 1, which is 1, and C2 equals 1 over 3, 4 choose 2, which is 6 over 3, which is 2, and finally C3 equals to 1 over 4, 6 choose 3, 6 factorial, 3 factorial, 4 factorial, which is 5. So indeed, um, it works as, as we discussed. So um, there are different proofs, and I want to discuss one based on an idea of a so-called uh, Dick pass. And um, that's a very beautiful geometric proof. So let me start with the following uh, geometric discussion. So let's consider um, x, y axis. Um, that's x, this is y. And I will consider certain kind of paths. So we will study, we'll study paths uh, uh, starting with the point zero, zero, which is this one. And then uh, going on each step, either from x, y to x plus 1, y plus 1. So basically, kind of by 1 up and y, uh, 1 to the right, or from x, y to x, y minus, uh, x plus 1, y minus 1. And that's kind of written down. So um, I can draw a couple of examples. So for instance, I can go up and then up, but then down, 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 up, up. Something like this. So I will study this kind of path going from 0, 0 forward. And um, it's really easy to see that uh, there is a limit to where I can go. So um, obviously, uh, if I draw a cone, so this is a kind of a cone uh, with two lines. This is y equal to x uh, line, and this is y equal to minus x. And any pass uh, of this type will contain, ins will contain inside this cone. And then I can uh, look at where I can go. And for instance here, uh, so that's kind of one one point, I can go just in one way. And moreover here I can go with one way. And let me just draw this once, uh, uh, meaning the number of passes uh, ending in this point. And also here I need always to go down uh, uh, to get to this point. But for instance, uh, if I go to the point 2 comma 0, there are two different ways to get there. Either I go up and then down, that's one way, or I go uh, down and then up, and that's the other way. So there are two ways to do it. And similarly, um, so if I look at these two points with coordinates 3, 1, 3, minus 1, uh, so now, for instance, going here, there are three ways to go. One up, up, down, up, down, up, 
uh, down, up, up. And here as well, and here is again one. And you can see that numbers here are exactly binomial coefficients. So in a way, this is an inter interpretation of Pascal's triangle. So if you just look at a zero point and go at all passes which go uh, uh, right up or right down, uh, and count the number of ways you can get to each point, you will see a Pascal triangle kind of written here, which is pretty pretty interesting. Um, and uh, that's not hard to see at all. Uh, uh, but uh, let me maybe leave it as an exercise and exact statement. So that's a little exercise. Exact statement is that number of paths from 0, 0 to um, so let's imagine I do A uh, uh, moves up, B moves down, then I will end up in a point A plus B, A minus B. So this is like A times up and B times down. Uh, and the number of paths from 0, 0 to A plus B, A minus B is A plus B uh, choose uh, A. Um, yeah, so that's a very simple exercise, but I recommend to think about it for a minute. Uh, so this y you see actually here is this binomial coefficients. For instance, this one is a case when I need to do, uh, so this, this corresponds to the point with coordinates 4, 0. So it means uh, a equals to 2, b equals to 2, and so this is supposed to be 4 choose 2, which is indeed 6. Okay, so so far that has nothing to do with Catalan numbers, but now let me formulate a, a simple proposition explaining how this picture is related with Catalan numbers. Okay, so the connection is as follows. So uh, let's again consider this picture. Um, uh, that's zero, zero, and this is point, for instance, I don't know, eight, zero. So the following um, uh, simple proposition holds. Um, so Cn equals to the number of paths from 0, 0 to 2n, 0, uh, uh, which are contained, contained in the upper half plane. So, for instance, uh, if I'm interested in C1, I look at point 20, and there is just one way to get there if I want to have a path which is always in the upper half plane. So the, the line uh, x equal to 0, y equal to 0 is, is, is fine. And if I want to go to a point 4, 0, there are two such passes. I can either go like this, or I can go up, down, up, down. And this corresponds to the fact that C2 equals to 2. And then C3 are ways to get to a point 6, 0, and now there will be more ways. So, for instance, one can do up, 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 down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, uh, up, up, down, down, up, down, and up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So that's kind of the picture. And indeed there are five of those. So C3 equals to five. So uh, why this is the case? So the proof is very, very straightforward. And the reason is that, uh, so let's use interpretation with brackets. So Cn is the number of sequences uh, of brackets, this and this. And let me just, uh, the certain property, right? So in each initial segment, the number of opening brackets is um, greater or equal than the number of uh, closing brackets, and in total, their numbers are, are the same. So, and then let's just uh, transform a sequence of brackets into a path. So transform 
a sequence of brackets into a path into a path and for this just transform opening bracket into uh, a step up uh, right and up and closing bracket into a step uh, 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 down and right so for instance uh, let's see some examples so let me just take uh, for instance this kind of sequence and now I transform it into a path where I go up up and then I go down down and then I go up down and now so number of opening brackets equals the number of closing brackets and this will of course transform to the condition that my path is uh, from 0 0 to 20 0 because the number of steps up equals to the number of step down equals to n so that's kind of implies that uh, uh, path start with 0 0 and uh, at uh, 2 and 0 and this condition that uh, in every initial segment uh, number of uh, uh, opening brackets is greater or equal than the number of closing brackets this is transformed in a condition that the corresponding path path lies in the upper half plane so of course that's one can go backwards if you have a path you just write down an expression with brackets every time you go up you write down opening brackets every time you go down you write closing brackets so that's uh, that's what we see okay so basically we are trying to compute the passes obtained in this way but now we are not doing all of them because then we will just get binomial coefficients but we are uh, uh, looking at those which are contained in upper half plane so uh, how to do that uh, so there is a trick which is called reflection principle and now I'm going to explain it okay so let's again draw this picture So this is point uh, uh, zero, 0, let me denote by A, and this is point which I will denote by B, and this is point 2 and 0, and this is 0, 0, and then I remind you that Cn equals to the number of paths from A to B contained in the half plane y greater or equal than zero so we are interested in this number and obviously that equals to a difference of two numbers i can just take number of all paths from a to b and that the first number minus and then I subtract. So, uh, of course, I need to subtract paths which cross the x, uh, y equal to zero axis. And let me draw the axis. Uh, so, this is the line y equal to minus one. And so, uh, crossing the x axis, meaning going be, uh, underneath it, it means to touch y equal to minus one line. So, now I subtract paths which don't work, and this is number of paths from A to B intersecting uh, line y equal to minus 1 so so intersecting this line and the first number is easy to evaluate so we already have a formula for that that's 2n choose n and the second looks mysterious because how would I count this number of passes which, which do something and eventually uh, uh, go to B and cross Y equal to minus one line. But here is an idea which is completely remarkable. So that's maybe the key element of the proof and that's the most uh, non-obvious part. So that's what's called reflection principle. 
And let me, before explaining it in this case, just explain it in general. So suppose you have these points A and B, and you want to get from A to B, and, uh, uh, and this is some line L, and you want to get from A to B and pass through L. So a classical picture is that you have a river, and these are two villages, you want to go from village A to village B, and you want to get maybe some water here or something. And um, the idea is as follows. So maybe this is, so far it's kind of a principle, and then I will rewrite it here. So uh, let me put it this way. So there exists, there exists a one-to-one -one correspondence between two sets. So uh, the first set is passes from A to B intersecting L. And the second, let me just take uh, uh, the point B and reflect it with respect to a line. So that's B prime, and B prime is, is a reflection. So uh, a reflection, a uh, reflection uh, of B. And uh, so basically the idea is that we can we just draw a line for, uh, from B perpendicular to L and find a point on the same distance from the line. So just um, in a couple of lectures we'll discuss this kind of symmetries in all details. So let me just uh, leave it like this. Uh, and the, the first number is passed from A to B intersecting L and uh, the statement is that there is a bijection between this set and the set of uh, pass from uh, B to B prime. Oh, sorry, from A to B prime. So somehow, if you want to get to the reflection of B prime, uh, uh, point uh, B prime, which is a reflection of B, uh, there is a bijection between this pass and the pass going from A to B, which touch L. So how that might work? So um, before I may prove it, so let me just kind of, um, explain what it means. It means that this number is equal to the number of path from uh, A to the point with coordinates 2n minus 2. Because going, uh, so B has coordinates 2n0, this is a line y equal to minus 1, and if I reflect I obviously get the point with the same coordinate and the coordinates uh, in, in y, uh, x coordinate and the coordinates in y should add up to minus one, uh, minus two. And this is something we also can evaluate because this is just all passes and so we get 2n choose n minus one and eventually this just gives the required formula, 2n choose n minus 2n choose n minus 1, which equals to 2n factorial, n factorial, n factorial, times 1 minus n over n plus 1, which is 1 over n plus 1, 2n choose n, and that's the proof, the end of the proof. And notice, by the way, that it's not obvious that this number is integer at all, but when you present it as a difference of two binomial coefficients, then indeed uh, that's the case. So that's a, an interesting maybe uh, um, uh, observation. So this would be the end of the uh, proof, except uh, the question is in this miraculous reflection principle. So uh, I just need to explain a correspondence. And the correspondence is as follows. So let me explain this bijection. So this bijection uh, is explained as follows. So take a path, a path from uh, A to B intersecting L, uh, intersecting the line um, L, and find the uh, closest point, take the path, I don't know, P, the closest point of P intersect L uh, to B. So I just take the last point in which my path intersects the line. So here it will be this one. And then reflect 
the segment of the path after the sprint, after it. So find the sect, se uh, section of the path which is after this last crossing and just reflect it. And one gets this. So in this way, for every pass which crosses the line, you reflect the last section and you get a pass which goes to B prime and now there are no restrictions. If you take a pass from A to B prime by the kind of discrete version of mean value theorem, it will certainly cross the line y equal to minus one. And so you can take the last point of crossing and reflect it. So that's that's kind of the the proof. So the proof is, is basically this one uh, clever observation. Uh, so that is the end of the uh, proof of the formula for Catalan numbers. And uh, next, uh, in the next lecture, I'm going to come up with another proof of this formula based on the idea of generating functions, which is a very general approach to uh, combinatorics of sequences. Uh, and with that, we will leave the domain of combinatorics and talk for a while about isometries of the plane, including symmetries, reflections, rotations, and such.